Cubism began in France in 1907 by Pablo Picasso and George Brock. They began painting figures that were made up of cubes, spheres, cylinders, cones, and other geometric shapes. The paintings looked like someone had cut them up and glued them back together. I start this project by making a copy of some sheet music. Then I just randomly cut out some shapes coming out from the edge of the paper. With a piece of cardstock as your base, lightly glue down the pieces of sheet music. When I say lightly, I mean just a few drops of glue will do just fine. I decided that the piece I cut I didn't really care for for my last little section, so I cut a new piece. Lightly gluing it down. When I'm done with that, I'm going to take a black crayon and trace around the pieces of sheet music. When you trace the sheet music, you can extend your lines out so that you are dissecting the paper into different sections. The only thing you do not want to do here is get the crayon onto the sheet music. When you're done drawing your lines and dissecting the paper, go over each line to make it darker and more thick. This is why you don't want to use too much glue in the beginning because if you had glue seeping out, it wouldn't work very well. When you're done with that, you're going to take watercolor paints and paint in each section that you drew on your paper. For this, it is best to try to use primary colors. Secondary colors work well too. I have chosen to do green, blue, and I will also do some yellow and red on this piece. Make sure to go all the way to the edges. You can either work with your paper on some newspaper or just clean up your table when you're done. Do not put your watercolor on too thick or else it will wrinkle your paper, but put it on thick enough that the color is a nice shade. There, all done. Always be sure to thoroughly clean your brush. This is very important. Our next step is to work on the guitar. Looking at some guitars for a reference point, go ahead and draw the base of your guitar. As you see, I have drawn an edge around both sides. I'll explain that later. I'm going to take a different piece of brown cart construction paper and make the neck and the bottom bar. Then I'm going to take a different color and do the circle for the bottom. I will also do six little 
string pegs. I also want a piece for the edge where the string pegs go in. Cut out your base. Make sure that it's how you like it. Then get to work. Decide how you're going to place your guitar pieces. You can do it all together, or like Picasso did some of his work, you can make it go crazy and disconjointed. That would look cool too, but for this, I want my pieces connected. However, I am going to make the neck of my guitar crooked. Put the glue on the back of the paper, the part that you drew on, and glue it down. Glue each piece down. And when it comes to doing your string pegs, instead of putting the glue on the little tiny pieces of paper, just put six little dots of glue on your guitar, then place the pieces of paper down. It's much easier this way. You're going to then take a black marker and draw in your details like your strings. Notice how I am making my strings crooked, bending them at the base of the neck. Now here I am drawing in those side edges again like I did before. The reason I am doing this is because with cubism, it's like seeing something from multiple angles. You know when you look at a guitar from the side or from an angle and you see the side of the guitar? Well, on this one, you're seeing both sides of the guitar. So it's like looking at it from both angles at the same time. That is part of cubism. And we're all done. That was fun. I wanted to try this project again. This time, instead of cutting my pieces with curved lines, I'm doing it with straight lines and sharp angles. With my base of the guitar, I'm actually going to cut it out of two different colors of paper. You'll see why later. The neck of my guitar also is going to look different this time. I already have the base paper finished and painted. I'm using the two different colors to make like two different guitars and pieces. I also want to do something a little different with my background. I'm going to take the larger piece and draw a guitar shape coming out of the edge on both sides. I'm going to take my watercolor and I'm going to paint over the sheet music to make that shape really stand out in the background. Don't put your watercolor on too thick because you do want to see the sheet music through the paint. Now I'm ready to glue down the base of my guitar. Next I'm going to do the neck. My circle my bottom bar. I'm not going to worry about string pegs this time. Then take your black marker and draw details. I want the different pieces to stand out so I'm going to be tracing around each one with the black marker. Now I'm drawing on three 
string pegs and only drawing three strings on the neck. Why is that? Because I want the illusion that you are seeing the strings, the neck of the guitar from the side. I'm putting six strings on the guitar and there you go. Here are my two different Picasso guitars. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please visit us at simpleandgrandlife.com. Keep it simple, make it grand.